Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Uh, today we're going to look at speed up uh, slow Windows 10. I'm uh, going to cover just three basic or simple steps to increase the speed of your Windows 10. Actually, these steps could probably be applied to both Windows 7 and 8. Uh, things are pretty much uh, pretty much the same. In Windows, uh, Windows has a very large registry, and that's probably the main culprit uh, for causing Windows to slow down after a while. Uh, Windows kind of dies a slow death uh, as the registry and other components on Windows uh, get uh, more corrupted. Uh, but on a fresh uh, Windows install, there are some things you can do immediately uh, to help speed it up and keep that speed keep the speed going. So let's get started. Step number one. Uh, I want you to right click on the start button, which is in the lower uh, left part of your desktop. And then I want you to, after this window opens up, I want you to select System. Uh, system window opens up and then at the bottom of this selections over here on the left hand side of it I want you to click on advanced uh, system settings another window also opens up under performance and I want you to click on settings under performance now under the settings under performance you, you see it by default uh, let Windows choose what's best for my computer everything is selected except for just a couple uh, these two, uh, if you were to come down here and select adjust for best appearance, you'd find that everything is selected. Well, everything being selected is going to use up a lot of resources in Windows and possibly slow your computer down quite a bit. Depending on the computer speed that you have, uh, by unchecking a lot of these, you'll find that the performance increases quite a bit. So I want you to come down here and uh, click on adjust for best performance. After you do that, you find that everything is now unchecked but that might not be uh, exactly what you want. There might be a couple that you're going to need. You're going to have to probably experiment with this a little bit to see what, what best uh, suits you. Come down and click on Custom Next. And then uh, I'm just going to click on a couple of these. Enable Peak. Uh, that allows you to, as you hover your mouse over something, uh, if it's a program or a picture or something, you're going to see what it, uh, what it looks like. Uh, another one is you might want to click on smooth edges of the screen fonts. That might make it read a little bit better. Uh, there's a few more in here. Uh, save taskbar, thumbnails, preview, show shadows under mouse. Some of these uh, you might want to go back and select. But right now, just select these two and go ahead and hit apply. And, uh, and then take a look at the performance of the computer and the way it's operating and see if you like it. Uh, step number two, I want you to go back and right click on your start button and then select run another window opens up here with a little box inside this little box I want you to type MS CON FIG MS config and then click OK another window up, opens up up here and I want you on this tab up here first select the startup tab go OK you'll find under this uh, particular computer there's there is no startup programs running but if you did see something in here that you weren't familiar with you might you might want to stop it uh, or take it out of the start the startup uh, menu because it, it might be something that is malicious or something you really don't need as a startup program which could be slowing down the startup for your computer uh, next we're going to look at uh, uh, services uh, Windows has a lot of services that need to run in order for Windows to run. So we want to make sure we don't uncheck or turn off any of the services that are important for Windows. So come down here and click on Hide All Microsoft Services. Once that's done, you'll find that there's just a few services left. The services that are running right now are pretty important. Uh, AVG is the antivirus program for this computer, so I do want that running. Uh, there's a couple more here, Google Update Services, but you can see that they're already stopped. They're not even running, so they're not a problem. But if you see something else on here, again, you're not familiar with, uh, it might be malicious or it might be a program and service that you really don't need running, uh, you might turn that off and then go back and uh, see how your computer performance changes. Uh, next, I want you to, uh, this is step number three, I want you to click, right click, uh, or not right click, left click on your start button and then click on File Explorer. Now under File Explorer you're going to see this PC uh, this PC. Go ahead there's a little uh, thing next to it. I want you to open up uh, this PC so that you see everything underneath it. There's a little arrow over here just click on it. Down here you'll see Local PC. That's your local hard drive C. 
I want you to right click on the local hard drive. When you right click on it, you'll see this window show. Now I want you to click on properties. Now this is a pretty important window. Uh, there's quite a bit of quite a bit on here. Uh, right now I want you to look at this little circle. This little circle shows the usage of your hard drive. The blue indicates that about 25%, a little bit less than 25% of this hard drive is actually being used. If this was pretty full and you wanted to free up some space, you can come over here to this disk cleanup and click on it. Another window will open up and you might find some things that you could uh, turn off or delete to help free up some space. You might want to check that out. Uh, up here though, I want you to click on this Tools tab. And under this Tools tab is a very important window. If your computer has been running for a while, I want you to click on Check, and then we'll come back down later and click on Optimize. But by checking, we're going to find if there's any errors on the hard drive that are causing that hard drive not to be able to read or write uh, files properly. So click on Check. This window opens up, and you'll find that uh, under this this uh, new system there isn't really anything that needs to be done so it says you do not need to scan this drive because it has it hasn't found any errors so this computer is okay but uh, if you find there is some errors you might want to go ahead and down here and try to optimize uh, this hard drive if you click on this one this window here shows and right now you can see that this hard drive is not fragmented and there's really nothing nothing that we need to do on it but if it showed more than 10% fragmentation, uh, you might want to go ahead and optimize this hard drive. Uh, uh, fragmentation is a problem that the hard drive uh, ends up having as you're writing files to the hard drive and then later deleting those files for one re reason or another. It creates what's called a hole in the hard drive. And the next time you try to uh, write a file or save a file to the hard drive, it tries to fill that hole. But at night, if it's a small hole and you're, and you're trying to put in a, a large drive, uh, or large file, you're going to find that that hole gets filled, but uh, there's more space needed, so it has to go someplace else on the hard drive and then write the rest of that file. Now that becomes very inefficient when it goes back and tries to read that file because now it's jumping around on that hard drive trying to read files. And if you have a hard drive that's making a lot of noise because it's been running for quite a while and it's pretty heavily fragmented, uh, you might want to take the time to defrag that hard drive. And what that does is it puts the files back in nice neat rows so it makes it very easy for the hard drive to read and write files. This is pretty important. Hard drives are a mechanical device uh, and they do wear out especially if they're fragmented and you'll wear your drive out a, very quickly if it's heavily fragmented. The uh, digital drives uh, are a little bit better. They're not mechanical so they don't have that problem of, of, of you know wearing out from the mechanical uh, failure. But again, fragmentation can be a problem, and again, you might want to check it out to see if it is fragmented, and you might want to go ahead and defrag it or optimize it. Uh, that's, the it for, that's it for the three simple steps to help improve the speed of Windows 10. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you uh, maybe find something beneficial from it. Thank you very much. See you next time.